Hello all, uh, this is Salil again. Um, welcome to another video about Google Merchant Center issues. Um, I'm the co-founder of Adnabu and we create apps for Shopify. Uh, we have an app for Google Shopping Feed as well. Um, now today I want to address all issues related to GTIN. Um, I think people call it GTIN as well. Uh, anyway, so um, this is a, um, a unique number that is given to a product uh, and there are bunch of products that usually get approved uh, in Google Merchant Center because of uh, incorrect GTA and missing GTA and etc. Right? So I'll, I'll categorize this into three, right? One is when you send, um, okay, first of all, uh, from Shopify, uh, most apps would use the barcode, right, which is in the inventory part not the SKU, but the barcode. That is where the GTIN is usually stored and usually sent to uh, uh, Google Merchant Center. Now, uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk about uh, the three broad categories of problems. One is when you send uh, a barcode when it's a custom product, right? Let's say you are a, um, you're an artist, right? You create something that is uniquely your own, right? And typically this will not have a barcode. Uh, and if for you know some like you know inventory tracking reason you are adding barcode uh, uh, here, um, and the app that you are using are send, is sending this to Google Merchant Center saying that this is the uh, GTIN, uh, Google will um, you know um, disapprove your product and you will not be able to advertise for that product. So I would be very very careful of sending wrong actually values to uh, uh, in the barcode section if you don't have actually have a, a, a barcode right um, so sending barcode when you don't have it should absolutely be avoided now there is another uh, a vice versa uh, inverse of uh, this thing which is not sending barcode uh, when the product usually has it um, i'll give you an example of a mobile phone right uh, even, um, you know, to be honest with you, this one also should have a barcode. Um, but let's talk about Apple iPhone 12. Now, Apple iPhone 12 will have a barcode on it. And it is important that you send that barcode exactly. If Google detects from the title, from the description, that a product uh, should have a GTA, then they will um, again disapprove your products uh, due to missing GTA. Right? So ensure that... Uh, if the product has a barcode, you should send the barcode as well. Uh, now, the third issue is when people send incorrect barcodes, right? This could be a manual error while importing uh, uh, products to Merchant Center. Um, but this is also very, very critical and uh, uh, Google takes this very seriously. Uh, GTAN has one, they, uh, they will try to validate if a um, if the GTA number that you sent uh, to Google Merchant Center is a valid GTA number, there are a bunch of rules regarding that um, in what you can do in North America, what you can do in Europe, what you can do in Japan, 13-digit, um, 14-digit ISBN numbers. Uh, if you have any doubts, I, I will link this link uh, um, under this video. Um, ensure that you go through this, uh, uh, this article and ensure that the GTA number that you're passing to Google is valid. Uh, for example, if you just randomly send a seven digit number, it will be considered as an invalid GTIN and uh, Google will reject it. Um, so ensure whatever you're sending, it is accurate. Um, if uh, a product has GTIN, definitely send it. If a product does not have GTIN, don't add the barcode in uh, Shopify uh, so that you know that incorrect value is not passed to Google Merchant Center. Hopefully this will solve all your GTA issues. Um, let us know how uh, it worked for you. Uh, if you have any more questions about uh, uh, Google Merchant Center issues, please let us know. Um, and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Uh, we will also have a playlist of uh, commonly occurring uh, Google Merchant Center issues. Um, have a look at it and uh, see if uh, any of those videos are helpful for you. Uh, thanks again, bye-bye.